Hello everybody, welcome to Monday, March 24th, and a week in my life in Costa da Caparica, Portugal. Hello everybody and welcome to Costa de Caparica, Portugal. Today is Monday, March 24th and we are going to go explore. This morning I've spent, I woke up feeling super inspired which is great because the last few days I've been feeling very um, uninspired and I also haven't really filmed in a few weeks because of the way things have been. But today I'm feeling super inspired and I edited this morning and looked for new music for the vlogs and now I'm on my way to explore. Uh, even though it's Monday, it's my Sunday. I'm taking a two-day break from captioning because I just really, really need it and I can hit the editing or the captioning road hard tomorrow again. Um, yeah, let's go explore. Hear the commotion, and that's okay. Cause we're in motion. I can feel the sway. There's nothing to fear, my friend. Oh no. It's the natural road at all. When the ground is shaking in the thunder roar, I wouldn't worry, it's just a storm. I just let my body fall to the natural rattle. So unwind the dawn, unravel. We can't help the feel. Through the clatters and sighs and crackles All the sounds of the natural rattle Vibrating in us all The natural rattle So I'm feeling pretty beached out now. I've been here for, I don't know, a couple hours. Sure, right. 
Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Today we're going to go out and work from somewhere. Maybe a cafe. I might have found a cafe nearby. Or the mall. Because I know there's Wi-Fi there. And obviously tons of food options and things like that. Not the most traditional and exciting thing, but digital nomad life. If there's Wi-Fi, you're there. And it's better than working from my bed, so... That's what's in store for today. I'm in the mall, I've been working for a few hours and I ate the sushi you saw. I just realized that in Portugal, the movies are shown with subtitles and in the original language and not dubbed. So I can, and there's a movie theater in this mall. So I'm gonna go see the movie Us by Jordan Peele and I'm super pumped about it because I really wanted to see it and um, for some reason I assumed Portugal's movies were um, dubbed, but it appears they're not, so I'm going to double check and then see the movie. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Today's plan is to go to a co-working space. It is around 9.30. I woke up pretty early, like 6.37, and did my whole morning routine nice and relaxed. Had breakfast, coffee, and I am I did one little 25-minute session of work and I am capturing a video about memory, which is really exciting. Hopefully I can get some tips because I have the shittiest memory on earth. And yeah, I can't bear to sit in the room anymore to work. One, it's uncomfortable on the bed, but two, I just, I want to be out. So I'm going to try out a co-working space and I think it's going to take like an hour to get there, which is annoying. But I gotta get outside, so I'll be heading actually back into the city of Lisbon. And I'm walking to the bus right now. I think it's about a 20 minute walk. And then the bus, I think, will be about 30 minutes. There might be another walk when I get there, so let's see what happens. Okay, just stop for a second because I never talked about the movie last night because I don't like people hearing me vlog. And I, my room is like right next to the kitchen and all the annoy people. So people can hear me. So anywho, I never talked about the movie. What I saw yesterday was called Us by Jordan Peele and it's 
like his follow-up movie to Get Out. He wrote, directed it, and produced. No, wrote, directed, and produced it. I think. Um, anywho, it was a hor- it's a horror movie, and it was really really good. Super scary. I was in the second row because I didn't have my glasses. <laughs> And uh, luckily in Portugal they show the movies, I think I mentioned already yesterday, in the native language with Portuguese subtitles. So I was able to watch it in English, which is fantastic. I would not have watched it if it was dubbed. Well, I wouldn't have been able to watch it (laughs) if it was dubbed. But anyways, I just wanted to say that it was a really good movie, but I did like Get Out better. So, one gal's opinion. (laughs) I'm gonna keep walking. I screwed up and I missed the bus by like 30 seconds, so now I have to wait till for 20 minutes. Oops! Bus somehow took two hours, so it's like 12 now. Which is a lot of fun, so. Definitely not getting as much work done today as I wanted, but what can you do? (laughs) I've just stepped into Pinterest slash Instagram heaven. It's the most hipster place I think I've ever been. (laughs) I love it, but it's really over the top hipster. Hey guys, so I had that lovely food you saw me eat. It ended up having Brazil nuts in it, which is one of the nuts that I'm allergic to. And I then went to the pharmacy to get allergy medicine because I did feel my uh, mouth like getting all tingly and everything like that. Then I eventually found the co-working space, but by that time it's like 1.30, so I just decided to leave. I walked around the place a little bit more and took some video and pictures, as you saw. And now I'm just heading home and basically calling the day a fail. I mean, not a fail in the sense of, like, I saw something cool, which is really great, but I got no work done. And uh, it can be really frustrating when you actually want to be productive, but, like, this life doesn't let you be. Um, So, yeah. Basically, I'm just heading back now. I feel like it's going to take another hour. I also have to pee and I don't have nowhere to go. So, yeah. I am a bit frustrated, as you can tell. Um, What can I say? (laughs) Honestly, like, none of this stuff would be an issue, but I've been kind of feeling, like, super homesick the last like week or so I would say so I've just been like a little bit on edge so like anything that happens like I'm quickly to the state of like frustration okay so now I'm on my way to the beach sun's starting to go down but I still have like another two hours and it's like a 10 minute walk to the beach so I can come back whenever. I just figure might as well make use of the last of the sunlight and then I can come home and do a little bit of work. So as I was saying before, I've been feeling a little bit homesick, a little bit down, I guess. Not really down, but like I've hit the point of traveling, which is the normal part of traveling and culture shock 
where you're no longer kind of excited about everything and things become actually really frustrating. So it's a normal part of culture shock that you, in the beginning you're like, oh this is so new and exciting and everything's cool and everything's better than your home. And then at a certain point you become frustrated and you start going opposite and thinking everything's stupid and everything's done like the wrong way and normal things are hard to do and it's plain annoying rather than being exciting and adventurous it's just frustrating and annoying so I've hit that point it's a normal part of travel it doesn't mean anything about me whatever it's just the way it is um, when you're traveling when you're living abroad living away from your home for a long time so god this lighting is absolutely horrid it's just a part of the process that's the part of the process I'm in and it's a part of the process that's not too fun because everything's annoying you don't like anything and you miss your home and you're homesick and you're romanticizing home in the way you used to romanticize travel so it's really it's really interesting <laughs> humans are really you know annoying <laughs> What's up? Happy Thursday. I am on my way to the beach to relax for about an hour or two. I've been working all morning and I worked for four hours. It's around 3, 3.30 now. I'm gonna go to the beach, chill out. I didn't end up doing my morning routine this morning because I was watching Survivor. So I'm gonna do that now. So I'm gonna write my journal and read and do my gratitude and everything like that. Maybe even do some yoga on the beach if I'm feeling brave. So that's what's going on for today. It's gonna be a very short, uh, some very short clips from today. But I gotta tell you, going out to the beach probably the best like midday break you're ever gonna get. It rocks. Flower fell on my favorite stone. 
Good morning, happy Friday. Today I am actually going on a surf lesson. So I'm super pumped because I love water sports and I've never surfed in my life. I'm really nervous, but super pumped. Okay, so I finished my surf lesson. It was a two hour lesson and I fell in love. Uh, it ended up being a private lesson. It was supposed to be like a small group, but everybody else canceled or nobody signed up. I don't really know, but I got my own private lesson for the price of a group lesson, which was fantastic. And I absolutely loved it. And I was actually really good at it. I got up on my first try and I got up several times and the good. Um, the uh, instructor was saying that some people don't even get up the whole lesson. So that was super, super cool. And I'm now like plotting out ways to do more surfing in the future. Thinking, thinking. Um, I had a feeling I would love it because I'm a water girl. And yeah, so it was absolutely fantastic. I really wish there was footage of it, but anyways. I am in love with surfing now, and I am also starting to get super sore. It's like two hours maybe after <laughs> surfing, and I'm literally, like my arms, my, my whole body really, but like particularly my arms and back. Are starting to hurt really bad so I'm kind of nervous about how the progression of that but right now I'm on my way to the grocery store I'm actually here at the grocery store and I'm gonna get some food because I'm starving I really want more cereal I've been craving cereal for some reason like really bad I can't possibly wait till I get to the room so Here's a taste test of the Cheetos in Lisbon. I'm so excited. Look how tiny they are. I can't figure out if they taste the same. Mm. It's doing the it's doing the trick. I think it tastes the same, which is very exciting, but maybe because it's smaller, it doesn't have the same flavor. You know what I mean? Oh my god. I'm so happy. <laughs> hey, I'm just working. I video chatted with Gary. And I'm still starving, even though I had spaghetti and cereal and... <laughs> Cheetos, but I um, heavily exerted myself um, surfing, so I'm super hungry. I'm just really having trouble focusing because I'm sick of being in this bed and working. So, I don't know. I'm going to do the thing that I do when I'm like super unmotivated, which is play a game while I work. It makes things take like twice as long, but at least I'm working. It's better than just like taking a two hour break. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sitting so hardcore, you guys. I'm eating some fruit and some amazing yogurt for dinner. It has chocolate in it, but it's so freaking good. It's what I'm I've been eating like as my dessert instead of having like real dessert. So I've been eating like lighter meals for dinner. 
or like two eggs or something and in general I'm just eating like less because I like cooking because of like people around <laughs> so I just don't feel comfortable to like make a elaborate meal but yeah hey guys it's around 8 30 or 9 now and it's time for me to end out this week in my life video I'm just going to be watching YouTube and Game of Thrones and relaxing for the rest of the night. I am this weekend going to just be in my bed working on the blog, working on captioning, preparing for travel, and in the next video you will be seeing my travel day from... Lisbon to Dubrovnik, Croatia, and I am super pumped to go to Croatia, add another country to the list. Um, Portugal was a new country for me and it was super surprising, not surprising because everybody said they loved it and I expected to like it too, but it surprised me because I really fell in love with it and I am super excited to see what happens in Croatia and the rest of this journey. So thank you so much for watching and please like this video and leave a comment down below because it's very helpful. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.